today is a very exciting video, one you guys have been waiting for for a very long time, but here it is again. This is going to be my room tour 2015. This is going to be the next one. I have done one previously, um, which I will link down below if you wanted to sort of see what it was like in 2013. I actually missed 2014, I think, um, but nothing really changed during then. To be honest, not a whole lot has changed now. There's a few little minor bits that I'm going to talk about um, and just sort of explain to you. Basically, all I'd say is what's happened is I've just introduced a bit more black into my room. Um, just a very slight bit because I do love black, but I don't like to have too much of it because I made that mistake before in a previous room and it just made the room close in so, so much. And this room is already not massive so um, I definitely don't want to make it small. I really have done my best with my interior design knowledge, <laughs> not that there's much of it, but um, I've done my best to try and emphasize the room, um, use its space to the maximum as I can and also have all the furniture I want in here. Um, so yeah, I think I've done a pretty good job. I love my room, it is my shell um, and you guys see a lot of it in my background so that's usually why you're curious. So I'm going to show you my room now and I will be mentioning where everything is from but if I do miss something out do feel free to comment down below or do check the comments because I may have replied to someone already stating uh, or asking where that thing was from. So I know you guys are excited about seeing this room, so without further ado, let's just get into it. Okay, so this is the door, and this is obviously my room because we've got a little sparkly heart on there, and that is from the range. If I open the door, I'll push it open a little bit more, um, this is what you first see. Now I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an overview as if you were just walking into my room and having a look around. This is what you see when you come in. So yeah, just imagine you're, you're standing here coming into my room. Alright, so that was the overview, now I'm just going to sort of go into everything, so starting I suppose with here. This is my little uh, rubbish bin, it's really cute, it says um, our botanical garden and it's just got some little vintage roses on there and that is from the range. And then if I just come into my room, up here on the wall I have my first wall hanging and this is a heart photo frame that is from um, B&M I think it's from, but you can get these pretty much anywhere. And this has just got a bunch of pictures in it of me and my friends, so I love this. They have changed a little bit since the last room tour because I've changed a few pictures out and swapped some things. But all in all, it's the same sort of uh, canvas. I just think this is a great photo frame because I can display so many things. If I just shut the door. Another thing you will notice in my room, uh, if you looked closely, is that all of my fixtures and fittings are chrome. So my light switches are chrome and also my plug sockets, they're all the same type of chrome, which I really do like because it goes with my mirrored furniture. Then going on, we just have this wall. We have got my give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world quote from Marilyn Monroe and I just love this. This is also from B&M. There's quite a lot of things in my room from B&M because I just, I really like them. They're like my target sort of thing here in the UK. And then obviously the big thing that you guys always see is my dressing table. Now I'm not going to go into this too much because I am going to have a whole um, separate makeup collection slash vanity tour going into this. But I will say to you guys where it's from because I know a lot of you guys have asked. So the stool which is just like this, um, which is a big cube that sort of... Oh, what's this called? Like when it's buttoned in, I can't even think what it's called right now, but it's a sort of shiny silvery material. Um, it's really, really nice. It's really soft um, and I really like that and obviously it fits perfectly in there too. That, the actual dressing table and the trifold mirror are all sold separately and they are from Next. So Next, I believe a lot of you guys were commenting in my last video, Next is only available within Europe and it does not ship outside of Europe, I believe. They still do this, this is from a couple of years ago, they still do this line, I believe it's called the Simpson line, but I don't think they have the entire range anymore. I still think they have these three things, but they don't have the entire range, but they have introduced a lot more mirrored furniture. When I bought for this from Next, it was one of the only mirrored furniture I could find within the UK. Um, so, 
I, yeah, I still, I absolutely adore this and I would never change it for the world because it's great for storage, it's great for display, but yeah, I just thought I'd mention it for you guys because I know a lot of you are interested. Then on top here, like I said, I'm going to go into this more in detail. These acrylic cases and these acrylic cases are from Muji. On top I have my Chanel perfume bottle bag, absolutely adore it, and it's there because I, first of all, want to display it, but second of all, I just think it looks completely great with my acrylic drawers, and I do actually use that bag, so when I go out, so, um, it's just a nice place to have it. And then we have my Sigma brushes, I have two sets, I have the Mrs. Bunny travel set, and the, no sorry, the Make Me Blush travel set, and the Mrs. Bunny, um, full kit, which I will leave the links to down below, as well as a little Elf Kabuki brush. Over here I just have a random candle that was a gift, but I really like the design, it's like a pink mirrored damask. And then I have this makeup mirror which does light up, and that is from number 7, which is from Boots. But um, yeah, I would just say if you are thinking of getting this, the light isn't all that great, it's very orange as you can see, but um, it doesn't bother me. And I've just tied a little Pandora bow to the bottom because I thought it was quite cute. So the only thing that's really changed about my vanity, if you can see, is that it's got these beautiful Chanel um, logos on it. Now these I got off of eBay, they're little decals you can stick on walls and books and anything you like, but I just thought it looked really cool against this because the thing that you're going to notice most about my room is that I've influenced a bit of black into it, but I've also tried to make it very Chanel esque, very Chanel inspired. I absolutely love Chanel as a brand and I just think it's just, it's infused a whole bunch of class into my room. So yeah, I got those on eBay but I do believe they are not available anymore but I will try and have another look and if they are I will leave them down below. So yeah, that's the all that's really changed there apart from everything being reorganised. I then have my makeup, like I said here these are from Muji and then the top acrylic storage is from TK Maxx. I'm just going to give you a little overview of what's in here, I'm not going to show you much else but I just have my Cinderella MAC palette on display because it's my newest purchase. Um, I have all my melted liquid lipsticks from Too Faced, some Lime Crime, some NYX, all my lip liners, my limited edition rose gold Sigma Flat Kabuki which I've never used because it's just that pretty. My Too Faced really nice brush, I have my Makeup Forever HD uh, foundation and my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo foundation. Above there I have this nail polish rack which is from eBay, it's super affordable, it's about $19.99 I believe, I'll leave it down below. Uh, it holds about 40 to 50 bottles of nail polish and I really like it. On there I also have my little, one of my rosaries hanging off of here because I just really like it. It's my clear rosary that I got from um, Glastonbury. Then we also have this piece of furniture here. This is from Ikea. It's just a five um, Alex drawer. Very, very popular, but mine's slightly different because I have a piece of mirror on top. That is one of my biggest tips I've always shared with you guys on my channel is if you don't particularly want to the hassle of a big piece of mirrored furniture because not only can it be expensive, but it's also a pain in the ass to clean. I will admit I clean this on average three times a day. <laughs> no, I'm totally kidding. But um, you do definitely need to clean it once or tw once every every day or every other day, really. But yeah, this is a simple way. You can just get a piece of mirror cut and stick it on top of your furniture, and it looks just as nice, and I just think it ties it in great. So this is actually all full of makeup, and I will go into that in my makeup collection. Um, and that's about that, really. That's from Ikea, like I said. Then over here we have my wardrobe. So these are four sliding doors. They all slide across. I'm just going to open this and show you guys what's in here. So this is what is on this side of the wardrobe. I just have a bunch of stuff I like to display. I have all my bits and bobs. Once again, I'm probably not going to go into this far too much. I'll go into it a little bit, but um, not too much because I will do a wardrobe sort of tour. But um, just starting from the top, that's where I keep all my bedding at the top uh, behind my Victoria's Secret dog collection. I just have all of them. I love these guys. Next one, I have my 18 sign that a bunch of my friends and family signed. I have a um, bottle of Coke with my name on it. I have my uh, Zara Croc City bag, which I think is just beautiful. My uh, just some random brush kid boxes. Down here, I love this, this is my bigger section. I've just got some of my favorite perfumes at the moment. I have um, my little acrylic drawer, which has all my earrings in it. I have this little mirrored case, another mirrored case, my YSL 
box from a recent purchase. I also have my Dolce & Gabbana inspired sunglasses, this beautiful quote from my best friend, my Chanel jewellery box with some of my um, favourite pieces in the top, which I will go into in a different video. I then have my dress forum, which is from the range, and um, this uh, crown, which is my prom queen crown from 2012. Then I have this bracelet storage thing, um, and it's just got a little Chanel, um, what's it called, the Chanel rose on there from a Christmas set. How cute is this Chanel rose? It's so adorable. It's got little gold stars on it. But this is my Alex and Ani collection. This is how I display them and I will be doing a video all about my Alex and Alanis and the reasons behind them and when I got them etc because that has also been highly requested. Then I've got a random bracelet. I've got this little antique um, jewellery box which is actually my greatest nan's. Then I have this vase, which is from Tesco, sorry, Asda, and then the roses, which I don't remember where they're from. I then have my perfumes, another dog, my Chanel handbag, and a bunch of books. More storage boxes, my Sweet Home Chicago Bath and Body Works candle, which means the world to me, I cannot burn it, from my trip when I went to Chicago to see Brittany. Then I have my Jeffrey Campbell shoe box, which I've actually transformed into where I store all of my jewellery. I have this little Ted Baker bag, and in the back there I have two glossy boxes filled with Bath and Body Works stuff. I also have my Bath and Body Works stuff in the Bath and Body Works bag. Um, and then I have my Sigma little beauty delivery card which I just think looks really cute and then I have a bunch of stuff down here, my pyjamas, my workout gears down the bottom but yeah, this is a, a review of my wardrobe Moving across, I've just moved these uh, doors. This is my chimney breast um, that has my TV on it. This is my Samsung Smart TV. I'm not too sure of the inch or the um, the actual model of it, but all I can tell you is it's a Samsung Smart TV and it's a fabulous little TV. I really do love it. Up top, we have this mirrored decal that says, follow your dreams. And that, I think, was from B&M or The Range or something like that. I can't even remember, to be honest with you. And then over here we have my wardrobe, so I'm just going to move these doors across. So here is my wardrobe. It is, um, it looks a big mess, but to be honest, everything is organised, if I'm totally honest. The top bit here is all of my top, um, tops and things like that. My blazers, my jackets, my jumpers everything like that. We also have my scarves on this thing which is from Ikea that just stores all your scarves. Then I have a little hook up here which has all of my handbags on it. So we've got some Nine West, we've got my Michael Kors, we've got my Primark. As you can tell, a big mix of brands and things like that in there. Down here we have my bottoms, so like, I don't know, oh no, these are my like going out tops and then these are my jeans, my bottoms, my leggings, etc. My skirts. And then down here we have all of my shoes, and I do have quite a few shoes. So on the top shelf there, as you can see, are all my higher heels, and then down here are more of flats, sandals, um, Toms, actually no, they're super dry, but like Tom style shoes, um, and little pumps in the back there. And then at the very top, this is really embarrassing, but this is where I store my handbags. It's a big mess, and I really should have organised it, but I will be doing that soon. So that was everything in my wardrobe. Now I'm just showing you, this is a little piece of furniture, it's also new. I got this from Asda and it was only £15. It was really, really affordable. It's super cute um, and it fits in that corner. Just peachy perfect. Um, and like I said, you can get this at Asda. And the reason I got this is because I actually went to Manchester and stayed with my friend and she had one. And I was really taken with it. I just, I really, really liked it. So, came back and I got one in white. And then this is my lamp on top, which I don't know why it's on because it's so bright you can't even see. It's um, touch sensitive and it's got this really cool design in it. But I can't tell you where this is from because I've had it literally forever. I bought it somewhere in a little shop in KL. I don't even know, um, but yeah, it's a really cute little lamp. Then up to one of my favourite places, which is my windowsill. The windowsill is great because it lets me display so many of my favourite things. So the first thing here is my um, Chanel box that I got when I got some sunglasses, which I just used to display because I think it looks quite nice. I then have my Bath & Body Works Frosted Cupcake Candle, which I have not burnt, but I absolutely love the smell of it. I then have this little chest of mirrored drawers, which is from my cousins that I got at Christmas. 
I then have my Chanel box which was from a recent purchase and then I also have on top this cutout sign which says my name and I really love it. This is from my auntie and I just think it looks great because it's like Amy Chanel. <laughs> I have my Mr. Candle which is actually a the candle that used to have like a ring in it, a bit like a jewel candle, but well, these ones are made in Bristol and this was from my cousin for Christmas. I have this really cute little um, jewelry storage thing and this is from b and oh no, Home Bargains, and this was only $1.99 or something. So, so cute. I have this picture which you can't really see much of, but this is my mum and dad, um, oh there we go. This is my mum and dad on their wedding day and I've literally had this photo in this frame since I couldn't even remember. And um, the frame's really beaten up and everything. It's been fixed, but I just, I, they cut all this tape along that you can tell it's so messed up. But this I just absolutely love and I never want to take it apart because I love my parents. So just love having this picture in here. And then I have this cupcake, um, which is from the Sugar Factory from Las Vegas. Wow, that's really, really overexposed. Um, from the Sugar Factory in Las Vegas, which my best friend Rain got me when she went there, which I truly love. And this is meant to be actually a piggy bank, as you can see, but I just use it as a display like that. Just a little look out my window so you can see it is an absolutely beautiful day today. Um, the sun is shining, it's beautiful. Hey Moo, Moo's down in the garden. My parents are just sorting out the garden and uh, Moo's down there looking really confused. <laughs> so this is my desk area. I've just had to shut this if you're wondering what's happening because this, you literally could not see it. Um, but this is just my desk and it is not my favorite part of my room. It's really not the best. I am looking about changing this and actually getting a desk I can put my feet underneath but that's still very hard for me to do because there's so much in here. But this is from Ikea, and I've done the same thing as I did over on my Alex drawers. I got a piece of mirror cut that fits right on top, so it ties into my room nicely. Um, the chair is also from Ikea, but once again, it's um, one that I'm looking at changing. And then up here, I have my iMac, which is from Apple. I've had it for quite a little while now. Um, I don't know, I think it's like the, oh, what even is it? the 47 inch or something like that. Whatever the biggest screen is, it, it's that one because I have to have like a big screen because I can sit here and I can edit. And then it did come with like the sleek keyboard but I ordered this on eBay because I just love the chunky chunky keyboard. I just love the sound of, does anybody else love that sound? I just love that sound when we type. <laughs> so um, I ordered that. I have a couple of folders here which are just work related. I also have my Apple time machine which just backs up my computer. I then have this little um, box which is from TK Maxx, super super cute, which just I store my memory cards in there, my vlogging camera, USB sticks um, and some screen cleaning stuff. I then have over here, this is my um, blue snowball microphone, uh, I do it, it's great for voiceovers and things like that so I just keep that right there. And then I have my mouse mat, which I really love. It's got a bunch of pictures on it that I love. So we've got like Milo, we've got Michael Kors, Starbucks, makeup, me and my cousin, me and my friend, um, my channel, <laughs> um, me and my mum, just everything on there. I love that because I spend so much time on my computer, so it's nice to keep seeing that mat. And then we come to my bed. Now, sorry this is crazy overexposed, but I have to turn my exposure up because it's just not translating well. Um, so this is my bed. Um, this bed is from Ikea, the bed frame, and the mattresses too and everything, but I'm not going to go into that because you can't see it. But um, I just sort of kept this the same. I've got the um, fairy lights threaded through here and I turn them on at night. It wouldn't turn them on now, you wouldn't even see. But um, they look really beautiful at night. And then we have my bed. This bed cover is from Asda. They do some amazing bed covers and they're super affordable. This throw blanket, which is honestly like one of my favorite things ever, is from Primark and it was super inexpensive. And I just love the floral print. I love, love floral, as you can tell from my wallpaper. Um, I absolutely love it. And I thought it would clash, but it's, it's really not that bad. Then we have here, I know the one number one question I'm gonna get is you guys asking me where this Chanel pillow is from. This is from um, Etsy. You can get it on there. I s don't think it's available anymore, though. But, um, well, I I'll try and have a look, and if I can link it down below, I will. But it's on Etsy, and it's got this Chanel logo on the first side, and then on the back it says Chanel, um, just the written logo, like, uh, like that one. So there's that, and then the other two pillows by the side of it are from Target. 
I then have above here my art, which is Chanel art also, and these are actually hand, well, drawn and then painted <laughs> by a artist on, I got them on Etsy and her name was Elisa Diona. She did an amazing job and there's literally only I think 25 or 15 of these made each and they all come with certificates. Those certificates are in the back there. I just really love them. I think they are beautiful. These are my one, three of my favourite handbags. So obviously you've got the clear one uh, and the black one which the clear one I've got over there. And then you have a Chanel double flap which I love too. Oh, I can't tell you how much I love these. I think they just add so much class to my room. I really like it. Then the wallpaper. I know I'm going to get a million and one questions of where this wallpaper was from. This is from B&Q, but I think I also seen it in the range at one point. So definitely check out B&Q because that's where I got mine if you are interested. Then just going on down here at the end of my bed, this is also a new piece of furniture. This is my little chaise lounge which is so beautiful and it's black. It's my only piece of black furniture. But um, because it is such a petite piece and the design is so subtle, it just, it ties into my room amazing. This is, I can't even tell you how perfect this fits because I was really hesitant about putting a chair in this room because I just don't have the room for it. Between here and the end of my bed is like just over a meter, maybe like a meter and a half. So, um, I could not have, I could not find for the life of me a chair that would, or a sort of end of the bed ottoman or something that would fit here. This I found in B&M, so one of my favourite places, <laughs> and it was super affordable, it was about £40, um, and it just is so beautiful. I love the design of the black damask, and um, I just think it looks super, super classy. And another thing which you don't know about me, probably, is that I hate people sitting on my bed when it's all made up like this, well I hate people sit on my bed full stop, but um, even me, I don't like sitting on my bed when it's like made up nicely. I hate having the creases in it um, where you can see someone sat there or it's all been poofed down. It's it's a very strange uh, OCD thing of mine, but I just don't like it. So obviously nowhere, I could sit nowhere else. I had my little stool and stuff, but this is so perfect. I sit there when I just want to watch TV, um, when I want to put on my shoes, because obviously my shoes are stored just here so I can put them all on. Just sit on my little chaise lounge and put them on there. So once again that's from B&M and then the little pillow on top is just from Primark which is a little chevron print one which I hauled recently. Yeah I can't even tell you how much I love this little little couch. I think it's really maximised my room to be honest. It's my room, oh, I'm just, oh, I love it. It's like my newest piece of furniture. I literally got it a few days ago. Obsessed. Then going up onto the ceiling, this is my chandelier. It's just a clear acrylic glass chandelier from... Argos, I think. Nothing special, but I absolutely love it. I think it's great, and it also goes with my acrylic stuff over there. It's all tying in, as you can see. I have, like, black, white, pink, and acrylic. That is, like, literally, literally my theme here. <laughs> then, just by the side of my chaise lounge here, I always keep my handbag. Um, if you're wondering what my handbag is, this is my Michael Kors Black Leather and Rose Gold Hamilton. Um, and she just lives down there because I absolutely love her so much. Coming around, we have my bedside table. This is also the same line, which I believe is the Simpson line, um, as my dressing table. So these are both of the same collection from Next, and I think this one is still available. Uh, oh no, it might not be actually, because I think I looked into getting another one to put on there, but I. No, I don't know if it is. <laughs> just check it out if you want to check it, but I, I don't know if this one's available anymore. Um, but yeah, same collection. I really love it. It's compact, it's beautiful, it's simple, and it holds a lot, a lot of stuff in those three drawers. So on top, I'll just show you, I've just got this little sign, which is from my friend, and it says, good friends laugh about everything without needing a reason. I absolutely, absolutely love it, and it matches perfectly with my throw. <laughs> it goes perfect. And then I have a little Bath & Body Works vanilla chai candle, a little mason jar candle, very, very cute. I then also have this photo frame which basically was made to go with this furniture. It's simple and mirrored and I absolutely adore it. And it's just got a picture in there of the Chanel flagship store in Paris, which I thought tied in really, really nice. And then we have finally my lamp and I adore this lamp. This is from TK Maxx and it took me ages to find the right lamp, like with the right shade and everything and this was it. Um, I love these crystals. I think they're like detailed but simple enough that sort of go along with the wallpaper in the back and 
everything. I just I absolutely adore it. And yeah, once again, that's from, oh no, sorry, Home Sense, not Tiki Mac. So the, the same thing, but different. So yeah, for Home Sense. And then finally here, we just come to my least favorite part of the room, which is the back of my door. Um, I can't really do much about it. I have to have, you know, it has to be functional. I've got my stuff up there. So I just have my backpack, which I use now and again. This is from Steve Madden, um, and it's just a nice little backpack. I also have them behind here, my little, like, memory board. It's got a bunch of stuff in there that I like to remember. So I've got, like, my rugby ticket from when I went to go see the rugby game. I've got my Chicago Cubs ticket from when I went with Brittany to... Um, Wrigley Field. I have some little Polaroids here from when I went to London to meet my friend. Um, some, you know, some little machine snaps that we got. Um, Betsy Johnson, Guess, Sigma, my Bath and Body Works coupon when I went to Amsterdam, Michael Kors. There's just a bunch of stuff on there. Um, memories. And then I have two neck, neck things that I just want to keep for memories. This is my backstage pass for Coronation Street, the tour, which I went to in Manchester with my friend. And then this is my makeup artist um, pro card for iMats, which allows me to um, get some stuff in iMats. So that's really, really great. So guys, that is about it for my room tour 2015. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope it was everything you were expecting and more. Um, like I said, not a whole lot has changed. I've been thinking about changing like the angle of the bed and stuff, but I just, my room is not big enough to do it. Um, I've tried really, really hard, but I don't think I can change it around far too much. That's why I like to change the furniture and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, yeah. So I hope you guys really did enjoy this room tour. I hope it was all you were expecting. Um, we are going to be having my makeup collection coming soon as well, my updated. If you want to see everything that's in my vanity over here, that will all be coming very, very soon. So do make sure you are subscribed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and if I've inspired you in any way, shape or form, please let me know because I do love to know. Either tweet me on Twitter or send me a photo on Instagram or just comment down below. I would love to hear from you. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Remember to stay beautiful and I'll see you all very soon. Ciao!